How to remove the University of Kentucky's MDM profile from your iPad. Open Finder and connect your iPad to your Mac. Tap Trust on the iPad if it's prompted. Under Locations, click on your iPad. The MDM profile is still on the iPad, so click Cancel, then click OK. Click Restore iPad. If signed into your Apple account with Find My, you'll need to sign out of your Apple account first. On the iPad, open the Settings app. Tap on your name. Scroll to the bottom of the page below your iCloud device list and tap Sign Out. Enter the password for your Apple account and tap Turn Off in the top right corner. When prompted for Keep a copy of your data on this iPad, tap Sign Out. During the restore process, all data on the iPad will be wiped, so keeping a copy of this data on the iPad is not needed. Your data can be accessed from the iCloud after the device is restored and you sign in with your Apple account again. Once the Removing iCloud Data window disappears, we can begin restoring the device again. Back on the Mac, in Finder you can click Restore iPad. Click Don't Backup. Click Restore. The restore process can take 10 to 15 minutes and should begin immediately. Click OK and keep the iPad connected to the Mac until the iPad returns to the Hello screen. Now that the iPad is at the Hello screen, swipe up to begin setting up the iPad. Select your desired language, country, region, the appearance, and then set up without another device. Connect to a trusted Wi-Fi network. If you're still on campus and have access to your LinkBlue, sign in with eduroam. Sign in with your LinkBlue username and your uky.edu password. Tap Trust in the top right corner. After the iPad activates, you will see the Data and Privacy screen. Tap Continue and select your age range. The Touch ID and Device Passcode can be set up now or later in Settings. On the Transfer Your Apps and Data page, select Don't Transfer Anything. Choosing to recover from an iCloud backup will put the UKY MDM profile back on the device. So after selecting Don't Transfer Anything, you can choose to sign into your Apple account or not. If you don't want to right now, you can tap Forgot Password or Don't Have an Account, and then select Set Up Later in Settings, then tap Don't Use. Agree to the terms and conditions. Tap Continue, then tap Turn on Location Services. Now go through and select all of your personal preferences. Then you can select Get Started to start using your iPad.